So today we are going to go from something like this, which is a, a very cool lettering created with a deformer in After Effects that creates a bitmap image into something like this, where we have like vectors or clean, we can go closer to any detail and it is going to stay always sharp and clean. So here we are again, we are in Adobe After Effects and this text has an effect called CC Smear and this effect is very very cool. You can create this kind of cool and extreme deformations. So the thing is I have this, I want this to be like vectors, I need to prepare the timeline and I don't I want to export only one frame here I'm like closing the preview and render area and now it's a matter of just rendering this as a unique frame so we add this frame to the render queue and here I'm going to go in this lossless button that opens all the options here and the format should be something like PNG. I click OK, I choose a folder, and I hit render. That's it. Then I just go into Adobe Illustrator, and here it is as easy as coming into File. The option that we need is Place, which is the same as Import. So we place our PNG here. And it is important that you to create these kind of uh, vectors or to trace these uh, letterings, they need to be black and white. That's that's important. We come to object, and here comes the important part of this tutorial. And in this option here, image trace, we need to choose make and expand. Okay. So now if we hit Control Y you see that all these are vectors but then there is another thing that we need to do and the thing is that it creates a little bit of a mess if we go for the direct selection tool here and we move something we can see that it, some aspects are like duplicated so my solution to fix this is as follows I come here to select and I choose same fill color okay like this and now I delete everything that is selected like this so now what I have is only these letters here which is something super super cool because now everything if I ungroup it I can move things around I can go in detail and for example see this here I can choose uh, the pen tool and start like erasing some points and cleaning it up and all that stuff that we like direct selection tool and rounding this a little bit so that's the thing uh, remember it's as easy as exporting a frame in black and white importing it here in illustrator with place with file the file place option and then just come to object, image trace, make an expand and then you can clean it up and start messing with everything. Some cool tools that I, I use a lot here, for example if you expand all the options here with this button, here you have the smooth tool which I love because you can go over some parts of your vectors and it does a really really good job cleaning it, cleaning it up and then with these simplified paths it's easier to just uh, play with them so whenever it comes to or you are in, in, in a moment where <laughs> you know better to do stuff in After Effects than, than in Illustrator don't worry because this workflow that I showed you it's a very good option remember to subscribe and to go through all the tutorials that we have in the in the channel 
and you know i see you in the next one Kinetic 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 Kinetic